Okay, so in here we'll now enable the Cocos um, skeletal animations. Now these skeletal animations, again, they are built into the 3D object. So um, we're just pulling what's already been created. So if you go inside the folder that was downloaded and you go inside the Cocos character, there's a folder called animations. And in here you find several animations, right? For the animation, attack, die, idle, jump, shoot, hurt, run, walk. There's quite a number of animations that they built for um, for this character. So these are skeletal animations, which are different from, from the animations that we were creating um, uh, initially. So we'll actually disable those animations. Um, so first of all, so we can go to the player controller script. Then in the player controller script, we first of all need to okay, disable the, the initial animations that we created. Then instead, we shall add skeletal animations. So these are the ones that are built inside the 3D the 3d object so when downloading 3d objects you can check if they come with uh, skeletal animations that you can then use they're generally smoother okay so skeletal animation then public cocos anim skeletal animation and now okay so so this will have um, a property so we can we can later on link uh, link to it then um, we also need to disable the the sections where we were running the the animation so so here this is where we were running it so I'll just comment it okay so this is where we were running that okay so we can then go on and drag the cocos character inside the cocos anime So the player controller is expecting a skeletal animation. So we have to drag the Cocos character, which has the, the skeletal animations onto, onto that. Then we can save, control S. So once that is done, we can then come, come back inside the code. And instead of running these uh, animations, we can, we can, we can now use the um, the ones from the skeletal animation. So first, firstly, before we actually run them, so if you first of all set up the the animation time. So just say animation time. So feel free to experiment with the timer so that you get what you what you feel plays best. So first of all, we check is Cocos anim true to be true if the property is created, which we did, and if you've dragged the Cocos character on the on the skeletal animations of the player, which we're just from doing in in here. So if that's fine, then we can then go on this dot Cocos anim. Okay, so this is a skeletal animation, so it's got different methods. So in this case, we'll say get state. Okay, then inside get state, there's an animation called Cocos Anim Jump. Okay, then we'll set its speed to 3.5. Okay, so that's um, about 
3.5 seconds okay so it's a, it's a long jump then we play it Cocos and Nim jump. Okay, so that, that plays it. But again, so this is um, one this is just one of the animations. So we're playing this one, the Cocos and Nim jump. Okay, so it's a jump, it's a jump animation. Okay, now the problem is the jumping animation doesn't play smoothly. So to smooth it out. Uh, we have some sort of easing effect that can um, that can help transition from from the different states. Okay, so uh, let's see. Well, all right. So so we've written the the, the state. So this can be changed, but um, in terms of the way it's going to make the calculation. But first of all. I first want to want to see it work, and then we can come and uh, edit it so that uh, it creates a, a smoother animation. Then we also have an idle animation. Um, this one, Cocos Anim Idle. So if the if the player isn't doing anything on the screen, um, they're not yet jumping, or the the jump has come to an end, they need to be in a state of idle right so so we check if this dot cocos anim is true then we'll play the the animation idol so you just have, you just have to make reference to the name of the animation file Okay, so we save that. So, so, we, so, so it's playing two animations now. So the first one is when jumping, then the other one is when the jump has come to an end. After jumping, it should stay still. So let me just see how this looks before we we try a different technique on the on the animation speed. Okay, so first of all, when we click, okay, the animation, yeah, the idol, the idol one isn't actually coming in. Okay, it's continuously going with the. Okay, this one must be misspelled. Huh? Cocos anim idol. Cocos anim idol. So that's that. That should be the cocos anim idol. All lowercase. All right. So then let me try that one more time. Okay, still okay. So yeah, um, it's still giving the same issue. Okay, so let me let me try first of all recalculating the um, the the speed itself. Okay, I've looked through everything. The source code is fine. I don't see any error on the source code. The only other explanation is, um, unless if I didn't really save in here. So let's just save in here. Um, but the source code itself is exactly the same. So Cocos, Anim, Play, I've verified the name of the animation. Same thing here for the jump. I've verified this in the jump by step function. 
so yeah the only possibility is if maybe I ran it without saving so let me just run it again and then let's see how far okay all right okay so all right so it's going back into the idle state you can see the idle state is it is um more like breathing and and so on but the jump is happening very very quickly okay so of course uh, a lot of things can be can be modified the speed itself and, and and so on okay so let me experiment with the speed and see perhaps what can work best okay so the simple solution that i found is perhaps um can see so the, the current jump speed is 3.5 seconds for the animation so the, the animation takes place in 3.5 seconds but um, the current jump time that we have is way too small so we have 0 0.1 so this is way too small so the animation is not able to go on so because we have um, a, a a shortage in the, in the amount of time in the total time for the whole jump to occur that's the mismatch so we'll do 3.5 okay so 0 0.35 here so that's 0 0.35 at least will get us closer to to this 3.5 so run it Okay, so you see um, the animation is a little bit better so you can play around with the time see how it affects your gameplay all right so this pretty much ends this tutorial series I hope you've learned something please like the video comment and um, show your support thank you very much for watching through to the end